Jasmine's gonna go places, Jasmine Sanchez, yeah. You can just see it in her eyes and the way she speaks. She's changing the world now, but she's, I, I kept telling her, you know, the sky's the limit, think big. I'm glad I'm making her proud because she's, <laughs> she's up there. <laughs> and I'm looking up to her, but she, at the same time, is looking up to the youth. Village and King Leadership Initiative joined with ESPN to have Youth Leadership Awards, and we had four. And Yasmin's one of those four. I mean, she's had a tough life, she has not had it easy, and yet she thinks about others. Where I sleep, um, where I do my homework. I didn't have a really good relationship with my peers, because I, I always got um, bullied a lot in school and I didn't have a good community and relationship with my parents as well. I was in foster care, like the moment I was born until I was three, so I went back in when I was eight, I didn't come back to, I didn't come back out until I was probably 11. When I transitioned from elementary to middle school, that's when that soccer community started building. And I found Saturday Night Lights about two years ago. Not only did they introduce me to soccer, but they were very encouraging and supportive of whatever was happening in my life or in school or with friends. And I thank them a lot for that because now they've also given me opportunities to, to volunteer and to coach and the soccer built that community that I really liked and I needed. It says, you were the best coach this year and I was so glad to have you, Janet. So what Yasmin's done, she's got the soccer block, and then she has Saturday Night Lights, allows kids to exercise through soccer. They're big on identity, so you're your authentic self and inclusion. Soccer Block is a five-week summer program that allows kids from six to 12 to come into the space during the summer and become active with soccer and also at the same time learn some life skills. So another opportunity they gave me was to become a youth leader at the Youth Leadership Council. It's about finding solutions to various problems that are around our community. I want to be able to give back what they've given me. So I think we should definitely have like an agenda. I know somewhere out there, one of these kids like look up to me and see me as a role model and I want to be able to do that and present that every single day. I've never met someone who's so selfless um, and, and I think that's what leadership is. I'm always thinking about other people. She's so considerate, she's incredibly bright. I mean, I could talk forever on Yasmin and her leadership qualities, but uh, uh, more to say she's such a good person, good-hearted person, and she really does care about young people and uh, improving their outcomes through football. These awards are about using uh, sports to help your community, to change it, uh, to convene, and all the good things that can happen through sports, and also you have a platform to change the world. While I was in school, I got an email, and I said, oh, You've been, you've, been, you've been a finalist. I was like, ah, I was crying. They said that the first day when I come into LA is that I get to meet Billie Jean King. I was like, oh my God. ESPN, when I first landed, I saw the sign. I was like, we're here. I met with them the, the day before the SB Awards so I could get to know them. We, we, we probably talked for over a good hour and a half. Oh, I'm so happy, it's crazy. She was like, so, you're Yasmin. I was like, I am. You know me, yeah, you know my name. And she's like, I, I read about you, but I want to know more. Like, I want you to say it. Like, what do you do? And I told her everything. I spilled my guts. <laughs> she's had a very unstable situation growing up, and yet she's very stable. She's got such heart, and she's smart. I don't know if I've inspired her or not, but she's inspired me. Knowing that she, I've inspired her in a way, I want to say, how? I, I, I don't, and she's inspiring me. She's inspiring so many youth. I mean, I want to tell her thank you for um, giving me the opportunity and giving me the scholarship for, because when, when we won the award, she also gave us a scholarship for $10,000. I mean, $10,000, for Yasmin particularly, will really impact her ability to graduate and maybe take a little bit of the burden and stress off her life. She's like, to Yasmin, dream big, go for it. It was so cute. Ah, that's her right there. When you're older, our job is to help the younger generations lead. I continually get inspired by young people, but Yasmin really stands out uh, in my life. It's not a, a skill or a gift unless you share it. She uses the phrase pass the baton a lot, 
And that's that's what I'm trying to do. I want to want to pass it to so many people as, as I can. I've been very fortunate. That people have believed in me. And with, with Yasmin, I think people believe in her. In a way, I mean, I'm not writing history, but I'm changing it a little bit. I mean, I'm trying. Mm -hmm.